परमं सुपरिपरा जगताज सुदर सदस्यमान भक्त सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी प्रभुपाद जी जय अनंत Oh, <laughs> 
succession we get uh, transcendental knowledge. Uh, <clears throat> so Bas Day formerly uh, before Bas Day, say five thousand years ago, before that time there was no need of uh, written literature. People were so sad in their memory that whatever they would hear from the spiritual master, they would remember for life. The memory was so sad. But in this age, it is called Kalijo, uh, we are reducing our bodily strength our memory, power of memorizing, our feelings of sympathy for others, compassion, each deviation of light, uh, uh, religious propensities. In this way, in this age, we are reducing everything. Uh, Every one of you can uh, understand very easily. Formerly, if somebody is attacked, 
by another man. Many persons will come to help him while this man is there. But at the present moment, if one man is attacked, the passers-by will not care for it because they have lost their sympathy or mercifulness for others. Our neighbor may starve, but we don't care for it. But formally the sympathy for other living entities even for an end. That's like Maharaj Parikhit, when he was touring on his kingdom, he saw that one man was trying to kill a cow. Parikhit Maharaj saw immediately he took his sword, the who are you? You are killing a cow in my kingdom. Because the king is supposed, or the government is supposed to give everyone protection. Not that the government is meant for giving protection to the human being, not to the animals. Because it is Kaliju, the government discriminates between two nationals. National means one who has taken birth in the land that is called national. That is, you know everyone. So the trees, they are also born in the land. The aquatics are also born in the land. The flies, the reptiles, the snakes, the birds, the bees, human beings, everyone is born in that land. Suppose your land, America, United States. Why the government should give protection to one class of living entities, rejecting others? This means they have lost their sympathy for others. This is Kaliju. Formerly, before Kaliju, unnecessarily, even an ant would not be killed, even an ant. <coughs> there are many instances uh, that a hunter who was taking advantage of killing animals, but when he became a devotee, he was not prepared to kill even an ant. So, the Krishna consciousness movement is so nice that it makes a person perfect in everything. Perfect in knowledge, perfect in strength, perfect in age, everything. We need so many things. So this perfection of life, the process, how to make life perfect is coming down from Krishna. Krishna is the origin of everything. Therefore, the knowledge of perfection is also coming from Him. And periodically, periodically means after millions and millions of years. Krishna comes. He comes once in a day of Brahma. So Brahma's days, even uh, one day, the span of one day, it is very difficult to calculate. Uh, the Brahma's one day means uh, about 433 millions of years. So in each day of Brahma, Krishna comes, uh, once in a day. That means after a period of 433 millions of years, He comes. 
Uh, why to give perfect knowledge of life? How a human being should live to make his life perfect? So, the Bhagavad Gita is there, spoken by Krishna, in this millennium, in this day. Now, Brahma's Monday, we are passing through the twenty-eighth million. No, but in Brahma's day there are seventy-one monus. And one mono leaves for that is also many millions of years. Seventy two many. So we are not interested now about calculation, the perfect knowledge. This perfect knowledge comes from God or Krishna, and it is distributed uh, by parampara system, by disciplic success. The example is just there a mango tree. On the top of the mango tree there is a very uh, ripened fruit, and that fruit has to be tested. So if I drop the fruit from up, it will be lost. Therefore, it is handed over after one, after one, after one, and then it comes down. So all Vedic process of knowledge is taken from the authority. And it comes down through disciplic success. Just like I have already explained. Krishna gives the knowledge, perfect knowledge, to Brahma, and Brahma gives the knowledge to Narada. Narada gives the knowledge to Vyas. Vyas gives the knowledge to Madhyacharya. Madhyacharya gives the knowledge to his disciplic succession, later on to Madhavendra Puri. Madhavendra Puri gives that knowledge to Ishwar Puri. Ishwar Puri gives that knowledge to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Lord Chaitanya. He delivers that knowledge to his immediate disciple, six Goswamis. The six Goswamis delivers the knowledge to Srinivas Acharya, Jiva Goswami, then Kaviraj Goswami, then Vishnana Chakravarti, then Jagannath Das Bhavaji, then Bhaktivinath Thakur, then Gaur Krishnath Das Bhavaji Maharaj, then my spiritual master Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati, then we are distributing the same knowledge. We don't manufacture knowledge. Because how we can manufacture? Perfect knowledge means I must be perfect. But I am not perfect. Every one of us, when I was speaking, because we are not perfect, because in our conditional life we have got four defects. The first defect is that we commit mistake. Any one of us who are sitting here, nobody can mouth say that he has not committed any mistake in life. No, that is natural. To aid his humor.
in this way Bhagavan. And the Bhagavat also comes from the word Bhava. From Bhava, when it is used as participle adjective, it becomes Bhava. The Bhagavat, the same thing, Ban, this word is comes from the word Bhat, Bhat Sabha. Bhagavat. In Sanskrit, every word is grammatically very uh, systematically bound up. Every word. Therefore, it is called Sanskrit language. Sanskrit means reform. We cannot manufacture by wings. It must be strictly according to the grammatical rules and language. So the Bhagavad Dharma means uh, the relationship between the devotees and the Lord. The Lord is Bhagavan and the devotee is Bhagavan or in relationship with Bhagavan. So everyone is related with the Supreme Personality of Godhead, just like father and son is always related. That relation cannot be broken. At any stage, but sometimes it happens that the son, out of his own independence, he goes out of his home and forgets the affectionate relationship with father. In your country, it is not very extraordinary thing. So many sons go out of father's affectionate home, uh, that is very ordinary experience. So everyone has got independence. Similarly, we are all sons of God, but we are at the same time independent, not fully independent but independent. We have got the tendency of having independence. Because God is fully independent and we are born of God. Therefore we have got the quality of independence. Although we cannot be absolutely independent as God, but the tendency is there that I shall become independent. So the living entities, we, we are part and parcel of God. When we want to live independently of God, uh, that is our conditional stage. Conditional stage means we accept a body, material body, which is conditioned in so many ways. Just like the body undergoes six kinds of changes. It is born, the body is born, not the living entity. It is born at a certain day. It remains for some time. It grows. It gives some byproducts. Then the body dwindles and at, the, at last it vanishes. The six kind of changes. Not only the six kind of changes, but also there are many tribulations. They, uh, they are called threefold miseries. 
pertaining to the body, pertaining to the mind, miseries offered by other living entities, miseries happening by natural disturbances. And after all, the whole thing is summarized into four principles, namely birth, death, old age, and disease. These are our conditional life. So, in order to get out of these conditions of life, if we revive our Bhagavad consciousness or Krishna consciousness or God consciousness, whatever you like, when you speak of Krishna, means the Supreme Lord. <coughs> God consciousness, Krishna consciousness, or our original consciousness. Just like every one of us, we remember always that I am the son of such and such gentleman. Such and such gentleman is my father. It is natural to remember one's father and his relationship with father. And in ordinary business also, the etiquette is if one presents his identification, he has to give his father's name. In India it is very essential. And the father's name or the title is the last name of everyone. So, when we forget the Supreme Father, Krishna, and we want to live independently. Independently means if we want to enjoy life according to my whims. Oh. That is called so called independence. But but by such independence we are never happy. So we transmigrate uh, for this so-called illusionary happiness from one body to another. Because a particular body has got a particular facility of happiness. Just like Every one of us, we want to fly in the sky. But because we are human beings, we have no wings, we cannot fly. But the birds, although they are animals, lower animals, they can easily fly. In this way, if you make analytical study, every particular body has got a particular type of facility, while others have got. But we want all facilities of life. That is our inclination. Just like modern scientists, they are trying to go to other planets. But they are conditioned. They cannot go. We can see there are millions and trillions of planets before us. The sun planet, the moon planet, the Venus, the Mars. Uh, sometimes we wish how I could go there. But because I am conditioned, I am not independent, I cannot. But originally, because you are spirit soul, Originally you were free to move anyway. Just like Narad Muni. Narad Muni moves everywhere. Any planet he likes, he can go. Still there is one planet within this universe which is called Siddha Loka. That Siddha Loka, the inhabitants of Siddha Loka, 
they can fly from one planet to another without any aeroplane. Even yogis, yogis, auto yogis, those are practice, they can also go from anywhere to any place. The yogis, they sit down in one place and immediately transfer in another place. They take a dip in some river nearby, here, and they can get up in, by in, in some river in India. They dip here and they rise there. <laughs> These are yogic powers. So, we have got immense independence, but we are now conditioned by this body. Therefore, in the human form of life, it is an opportunity to get back our original independence. That is called Krishna consciousness, freedom. When we have got our spiritual body, without being covered by this material body, we have got our spiritual body within this material body, very small. That is my real identification. Now I am covered by two kinds of material bodies. One is called subtle body and the other is called gross body. The subtle body is made of mind, intelligence, and ego, false ego. And the gross body is made of earth, water, fire, air, and ether mixed together, this body. So two kinds of body we have got. And we are changing. Generally we can see the gross body, we cannot see the subtle body. Just like everyone knows, I know that you have got your mind, I know that you have got intelligence, you know I have got mind, I have got intelligence. But I cannot see your mind, I cannot see your intelligence, I cannot see your determination. I cannot see your thoughts, thinking, feeling, and willing. Similarly, you cannot see. You see my gross body made of this heart, water, air, fire, and I can see your gross body. Therefore, when this gross body is changed and you are carried, you go away by this subtle body, and that is called death. We say, oh, my father has gone away. How do you see that your father has gone away? The body is here lying. But actually his father has gone away by the subtle body. Just like at night we are sleeping on our nice apartment, but the subtle body takes me away on the top of a mountain. Sometimes, you see, I have come in dream. I have come on the top of a mountain, very high, and I am falling down. Although, actually, my gross body is sleeping in a nice, comfortable apartment. But the subtle body carries me. You have got daily experience. Similarly, Death means the, this gross, this gross body will change. That's like you have got your shirt and coat. So you change the coat, but you keep your shirt. You do it generally. Similarly, I keep my subtle body and I give up my gross body. That is called death. And I am carried by the subtle body 
in the womb of another mother by the laws of nature and I develop another gross body material supplied by the mother. And when the body is prepared, I come out of the womb of mother and I work again with that subtle and gross body. And Bhagavad Dharma means that we have to transcend both the gross and subtle body, come to the spiritual body. It is very scientific. And as soon as we come to the spiritual body, mukta uh, being free from uh, the gross and subtle body, we come to a real body, spiritual body, then actually we feel happiness and independence. So this process of Krishna consciousness is the highest benediction for the human society because it is trying to bring the human being uh, to the platform of spiritual body, transcending the gross and subtle material world. That is the highest perfection. Human life is made for coming to that platform, the spiritual platform, transcending the gross and material bodily concept of life. And that is possible. It is made easy in this age this age called Kuli. It is not very good time. Simply disagreement, fighting, quarreling, misunderstanding, this age is full of life, all these happenings. Therefore, to come to the spiritual platform uh, is very difficult in this age. Formerly it was not so difficult. People were very easily trained up uh, by the Vedic process. But now the people are not interested. They are simply interested with the gross body or a little more who is a little advanced, the subtle body but they have no information of the spiritual body. Although there is advancement of education, there is no education about the spiritual body. They are simply concerned with the gross material and subtle body. Therefore this movement, Krishna consciousness movement, is very important movement. Uh, those who have taken to this Krishna consciousness movement, they are very, very fortunate. Uh, so I shall further explain one song sung by Narutam Das Thakur. Das Thakur was one of our predecessor, Acharya, teacher. And his songs are accepted in our Vaishnava society as Vedic truth. He has written in simple language, but it contains the Vedic truth. So he has got many songs. One of the songs, is Hari Hari be Phale Janama Gwain. He says, My dear Lord, I am simply wasting the valuable time of my life. Be Phale Janama Gwain. Everyone takes birth as human being, but he does not know how to utilize it. He utilizes it 
just like animal. The animal eats, we simply make arrangement of eating unnatural. That is our advancement. In the animal kingdom, every particular animal has got a particular type of food. Just like tiger. The tiger eats flesh and blood. But if you, if you give tiger nice oranges or grapes, he will not touch. Because that is not his food. Uh, similarly, a hog, a hog eats too. If, the, if you give the hog nice halwa, <laughs> it will not touch. So, every particular animal has got a particular type of food. Similarly, we human beings. We have got our particular type of food also. What is that? Fruits, milk, grains. Just like our tea is made, you take fruit, you can easily cut into pieces by this tree. But if you take a piece of flesh, it will be difficult to cut with this tea. But a tiger has got particular type of teeth. He can immediately cut into pieces the flesh. So we are advancing in education, but we do not study even about teeth. We simply go to the dentist. <laughs> this is our advancement of civil. The tiger never goes to a dentist. <laughs> Although its teeth are so strong that immediately you can, you can cut into pieces, but he doesn't require a dentist because he doesn't eat anything which is unnatural. But we eat anything jam, therefore we require the help of dentist. So, our human being has got a particular type of business. That business is to study or to discuss on the Bhagavad life. That is our nature. Bhagavad Gita. We should try to understand Bhagavan. Bhagavad Dharma I have already explained. Bhagavan and uh, the Bhakta or Bhagavat. Their relationship. That is called Bhagavat. So it is very easy. How uh, simply you have to hear about Krishna. Krishna is Bhagavan. The Supreme Personality of Godhead, Bhagavan. And we are Janama Paya Radha Krishna Navajya Janiya Sunya Bishakai. He said, My dear Lord, uh, I got this valuable human form of life, uh, but I have wasted it for nothing. Because this life is meant for understanding Radha and Krishna. Uh, but I did not do so. Therefore, I have taken poison with knowledge. That's like sometimes make suicide. He takes poison. He knows that as soon as he will take the poison, he will die. Similarly, one who is not taking to Krishna consciousness, that means he is taking poison. This is the opportunity of becoming Krishna consciousness. And if you don't take this opportunity, that means knowingly I am drinking poison. Janiya, Sunya, Bishokhai. 
So, what is the process of Krishna consciousness? Gulokera Prima Dhano Harinama Sankirtan. This Harinama Sankirtan, just like we receive vibration from the radio, from different countries. Similarly, this Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Rama, this vibration we are receiving from the spiritual world. Gulokera Prema Dhano Harinama Sankita. Rotina Jarmila Kanata. I could not get my attachment to this transcendental vibration. Vishaya Vishanale Divanesi Hiya Jale Torivare Nakoinu Upa. I am suffering constantly with the poison of this materialistic way of life, and I did not try to get out of it by taking shelter of this Hare Krishna Mahā. Uh, then he said that brajanda nandana jai satisita haida In this age, the same Supreme Personality Godhead who appeared five thousand years ago as the son of Nanda Maharaj, Brijanda Nanda. Nanda Maharaj he was the king of Brija, Brijendra, and his Nanda, his son. That means Krishna. Brijanda Nanda no jai sochishuta hila. That Krishna has appeared in this age as the son of Mother Sochi. Lord Chaitanya's mother's name was Sochi Devi. Balaram Hailamita. Balaram, the same Balaram who appeared as Krishna's elder brother, uh, he has appeared as Nityananda, Gaurnita. So, what is their business? Papi tapi jato chila hariname dhal. Their business is there are two kinds of people within this material world. Another one is committing sin and the other is suffering the sinful reaction. Papi tapi. That is our business. In this life, I am suffering the resultant action of my past impious activities and I am creating another set of impious activities so that I shall suffer next life. This is our position. Papi, tapi, jato, shiva. Therefore, there are two kinds of activities. Papi, tapi, jato, shiva, harinami, But all these people can be delivered simply by chanting Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>